Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectible. So today we're super excited to be taking a closer look at this. It's the brand new Hercules Acrocanthosaurus from Rebore. This comes in a beautiful 135th scale and is part of their new deluxe pack range. We haven't had a deluxe pack before. And in this case, it comes with a 1 3rd scale Serenian Hind, which is actually a part of its prey that it's already started eating. So we're really excited to take a closer look at that. To give you a better idea of the scale of the box, here's the Hercules next to some of the existing predatory dinosaurs. And you can see with the Hercules at the front here, it's actually thicker than any of the existing carnivores. Taking a quick look at the packaging, Rebor have provided this wonderful collector's satin black slip case. And on the front, we've got an illustration of the Acrocanthosaurus skeleton placed in its anatomy. On the back, we've got a rundown of the other carnivorous dinosaurs that they offer. We've reviewed all of these on the channel, so if you want to see any of these reviewed, links are in the description down below. But we've got the Y-Rex, the King T-Rex, the Wind Hunter, the Ceratosaurus Savage, and the Acrocanthosaurus Hercules. So we are super excited to be taking a closer look at this new member today. As per usual, inside we get this really nice info sheet in a baggie showing off the Acrocanthosaurus anatomy, how big it was compared to a human, and where its remains were discovered. And inside we've got a really nice foam inlay which keeps your dinosaur model protected and is great for collectors. With the foam blocks removed, you can see the three compartments here containing the Acrocanthosaurus, the base, and the prey. So without further ado, I'm gonna get this one out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. So here is the Acrocanthosaurus Hercules out of the packaging and on display and I'm absolutely speechless for once. Uh, this is just an incredible model. Uh, it's on a par with the T-Rex, the King T-Rex model that they've already produced. And the extra of this prey, which we'll get into more detail on, is just absolutely amazing. Um, I'll show you why, because it's got some nice posing options. First of all, let's take a closer look at that base. So for this base, they've opted for a really nice cracked dry riverbed which I think is a really nice choice. And as you can see, it's dotted with little bits of slate or rock there. Um, you can even see the sedimentary layers built up in this riverbed, because if you know about fossils, a lot of fossils are formed uh, through sedimentary layers, uh, all sort of pressuring down on top of each other over millions of years. So that's a really nice little nod to paleontology and fossil finding there. As you can see, we do have imprints for the toes. Um, mine line up more on the front foot than on the back foot. The back foot tends to sort of pivot off just a little bit, but it stands very nicely on this base. And on the back, you can see there, we've got a really nice illustration of the skeleton with Hercules there, which is a really nice detail that they didn't have to include. Next up, here's a closer look at the partially eaten prey. This is the Serenian hind. And this is really nicely sculpted, and it's almost like we've got an extra dinosaur, really, for our money. What's most impressive about this is how wet the interior looks. Look at those ribs poking through and all this blood. It just looks really, really genuine and wet. Same on the bites on the neck. Just really, really detailed. A fantastic extra that Rebel really didn't need to include, uh, but it actually adds some nice posing options as I'll show you in just a bit. Beautifully painted, lovely wrinkles and creases going on all over this dinosaur, and it just looks very genuine. It's got a very sort of dead, sullen look to it. With the Acrocanthosaurus in hand, I have to say this Hercules does resemble uh, the King T-Rex, not only in coloration, but in the sort of broadness of the sculpted scale. It's a completely different model, I know, but it does remind me somewhat of the King T-Rex. A really beautiful, predatory-looking dinosaur. I've always loved the sail going across the back of the Acrocanthosaurus. Right, let's take a closer look. Starting off with this exquisite head sculpt and paint job. This is just incredible work by Rebor. They never cease to amaze. I just love those overhanging teeth. And actually something interesting is, if you look at the eye, they've just painted a yellow dot there. There's no iris or anything like that, which actually makes it look like this really beady, soulless eye. Really nice. We do have an articulated jaw, so you can open up the jaw. That's the first time I've opened it, so it is a little bit stiff. 
There we go, with a little bit of force I have opened that jaw. That was very tight first time, but you want it to be tight because then you know you're getting a good quality product. As you can see, they've used a high level of gloss on the interior of the mouth. It's really nicely painted in different shades of red and pink. Really beautifully sculpted, you can see the tongue there. Just beautiful detail on this dinosaur. Now as we move down the neck, you can see there's some lovely folds of skin gathering on the underside of the neck. Really, really cool. And you can see that sail going across the top with lovely airbrushing all the way along. Really lovely variation of colour going on here all the way through the body. Goes from this lovely dark brown through to this orangey yellow caramel colour through to this beige. Really, really nice. As we move down to the shoulder, some really nice anatomically correct wrinkles and folds there where you've got the compression of the shoulder against the neck area. As you move down to the arm, you can see we've got really nicely sculpted scales all the way along. Really nicely weathered fingers and finger claws. There's a nice level of gloss used on this area as well to give them a very genuine bird-like feel. The kind of detail that we're getting here is unlike any other figure that I know. Uh, even Papo. Uh, Rebor is really outshining all the other dinosaur manufacturers at the moment. As we move across the torso you can see there's some really nice folds of skin distributed over the rib cage there. As we move over to the leg you can see the indication of the different muscle groups. Really nice. Moving into that knee we've got a really nice creasy scaly knee there. Nice feeling of compression on this lower limb. Nice definition of the muscles as well. And as we move down to the foot, we've just got a lovely weathering going on here. And really nicely painted and finished toe claws. They just look so genuine. Absolutely gorgeous, very bird-like as well. As we move back up the leg, you can see we've got some really nice broad scales going along here. Really nice creases here behind the leg. Underneath you can see these broad scales continuing. As we move into the tail you can see there's some nice folds of skin here just hanging loosely from the tail. Very reptilian. Really nice tiger stripes going on along here as well. And a nice gentle curve in the tail. As we move over to the opposite side again you can see these tiger stripes continue all the way down. We've got more feeling of compression on this side because the tail is bent this way so the skin gathers on this side. Really nice attention to detail. You can see more of these broad scales. As we move into the leg, really nice clear indication of the musculature. Despite all this heavy scaling, they've really kept that definition in there. Really nice. Again, nice bulging of the lower leg. Really nice detail on this foot. Look at that. Just incredible. And the feet have been sculpted and painted underneath as well. Seems like these have got a larger surface area than some of the other dinosaurs. Um, so I don't think you're going to have too many uh, standing issues with this one. As we move up to the torso again, really nice folds of skin being pulled across to the chest there. Lovely range of colours going on. Lovely sculpted forelimbs again. Really nicely painted finger claws. Gorgeous. As we move up into the neck, lovely folds of skin. And then we join back up with that gorgeous predatory head sculpt. So the nice thing about this Serenian hind is that you can have it laying lifelessly on the ground like this or you can actually place it in the teeth and these bite marks on the neck actually line up with the teeth of the Acrocanthosaurus. You can actually have it hanging from its jaws with accurate bite marks. How cool is that? Right, just how big is this Acrocanthosaurus? If I whip out the tape measure, you're looking at about one foot long, which is about 31 centimeters. And in terms of the height on the base, you're looking at about six inches, which is about 14, 15 centimeters. In terms of the scale of the Serenian hind, oh, just look at him there, taking a little nap. You're looking at about two and a half inches, which is about seven centimeters. And in terms of the height, you're looking at about one and a half inches, which is about three, four centimeters. Okay, size comparison time. Let's bring in the undisputed king of the Rebor jungle. It's the King T. Rex and you can see that he still towers over the Acrocanthosaurus. I'm using hand support because I've got these two off their bases but you can see that the King T-Rex still towers over this dinosaur. Next let's bring in his little brother it's the Y-Rex and you can see here that these two scale up really nicely next to each other. When you put these two side by side the broad scales on this Acrocanthosaurus are really obvious compared to the really tiny scales on this Y-Rex. 
Next, here's the Acrocanthosaurus next to the Ceratosaurus Savage figure, which we have reviewed on the channel. And you can see that the Acrocanthosaurus is much bigger than this one, but this one is still packed with detail and I love the color scheme on this guy. And lastly, here's the Acrocanthosaurus with the recently reviewed Rebore Theropod Nest Diorama. And you can see that actually, that looks really nice. Looks like it's looking after its babies. And here's a look at the Serenian prey in the mouths of the other carnivorous dinosaurs. So there we have it guys, that was today's look at the Hercules Acrocanthosaurus Deluxe Pack from Rebore. I think this is a fantastic figure. Again, Rebore have really outdone themselves. The fact that you get this extra accessory for prey is really nice and you can interchange it with your other carnivores in your collection. Definitely worth picking up this one guys. I know a lot of the other Rebor figures sold out really quickly and a lot of you were left disappointed So snap these up while you can. In the meantime guys rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Carnivores group shot!